women like I like my Frosted Flakes. Soggy as fuck. Get in here, big boy. Ooh, you nasty. You like to get down to business. All right, girl. <laughs> Come give it to me, peepers. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What the fuck? Come on. Alright guys, that's the one movie, Jeffy's Voice Changer by SML. Uh, let's see how Jeffy's voice changes. Is it going to be squeaky? Is it going to be dark? I don't know. Let's figure it out. And also, I'm going to be eating while we're doing this reaction. But yeah, let's get into reaction. Jeffy, come on, let's go. We got to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Marvin, we're not taking him to Chuck E. Cheese. I thought we were taking him to the doctor to get his shot. Shh, baby, we are taking him to get shots. But Jeffy's not going to willingly go to the doctor's office to get shots. Shots? <laughs> oh, he actually heard it too. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to eat too much during this, but. Mm. Stick it in your arm. Same thing. I hate needles, and my old mommy loved them. I'm not going. Ah! Oh, great, baby. Loki, Loki. Go to the doctor's office. I was also a nigga that actually hated needles, Loki. Like as a kid, I would always cry when I got a needle. Like now, I'm fine with it, but as a kid. Okay, Junior, your turn. Oh, I'm gonna. I also hated needles, so like Loki. It's called sick. You can't even blame Jeffy. Like, Loki, you cannot blame Jeffy. Like, you guys already fallen over, Cody. That's just one leg. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Uh, oh, oh, I'm tipping. You're tipping. Uh, okay, well, he's not sinking. He's falling over. He just fell over. So, now. so close. No, he just fell over. Okay. Alright, your turn. Guys, my I said, do they have to fall out off the, like, the ring? There, I'll do it. Wait, why? Because I have to get my shot. <laughs> Cody, what do you mean by you, you would do it? Like, lo you know what, let me not even ask. <laughs> I should not ask what do you mean by that whenever Cody says some shut shit, because I already know what he means. But guys, my daddy's gonna make me go to my doctor's appointment, and I don't want shots! What do I do? That does not taste good. Well, Cody, do you think you can invent a voice changer to make Jeffy sound like the doctor so he can call his dad and cancel the appointment? No, no, I don't think I could do that. Cause I already fucking did. Check it out, bitch. Oh. Voice changer? Yeah, it makes you sound like anybody in the entire world. You just think about their voice and you sound like them. Like you want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Nah, get to the chopper. Those are my wife's cookies. Put the cookie down. Get the turbo man down. I'm not gonna lie, dev impression. Hold up. Hold up. All right, Cody. Dev impression. Low key. Yeah, here you go, Jeffy. I like the butt sex. It feels nice. Jeffy, you didn't turn it on. Oh. Marvin, I'm gonna have to cancel the doctor's appointment. I'm gonna put my arm in a giraffe's asshole. You sound just like the doctor. So, uh, yeah, so if you call your dad, you can you tell him that you wanna cancel the appointment. Cody would another banger invention. Like you love to see it, Loki. What's the goddamn I hate my mouse? Appointment. He needs his shots. Oh look, Jeffy's calling. He's probably trying to get out of his appointment. Hello? Hey daddy. What? Doctor? Yeah, I'm just calling to say mm, and also to cancel Jeffy's doctor's appointment today. So he doesn't need his shots. Happy time. Wait, well, why are you canceling the appointment? Well, because I have to go to the local zoo because there's a giraffe there with two. Loki, I don't think Jeffy ever thought why would, you know, why would Brooklyn got called from his phone, Loki? Does Jeffy need his shots? No, nope, no, he doesn't. And also, <laughs> Jeffy's blood work came back, and it turns out that he never, ever, never, ever needs to eat green beans ever again because he's deathly allergic to them. Oh. Okay, well, we didn't do blood work with Jeffy. Yes, we did, because I'm a doctor and I'm smart, and I did that. Oh, oh okay, well, I guess we won't feed him green beans anymore. I have some questions for you, though, doctor. What's that, daddy? Why are you calling me daddy? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't call you that, because I'm a doctor and you're not my dad. Yeah, and also, why are you calling from Jeffy's phone? I mean, Marvin Loki. I don't know how to do that. Well, you Low I think uh, well, last time low key, I was over there, low key. I accidentally grabbed your son's phone and took it with me, but I'll give it back to you. <laughs> Alright, dub excuse, dub excuse, low key. Don't come to the appointment. But low key, when I feel like Brooklyn guy would definitely call my Marvin daddy, low key. Like, like, sometimes his Brooklyn guy is like, you know, horny, sometimes he's not, so he tries to be horny, like, like, friendly. I feel like, you know, sometimes he would actually do that, like, I feel like you would definitely call him daddy. Bro, then you remember. 
Hey, Jeffy. Oh, hey, Daddy. Oh. What? Don't throw it. You're going to break it. Break what? Nothing. Well, Jeffy, you got lucky. The doctor called and canceled your appointment for your shots. Darn, I was really looking forward to that. He also said you can't eat green beans anymore. Double darn, my favorite food. Wait, Jeffy, is that your phone? He said uh, double darn. Well, the doctor said he had your phone. How do you have it? No, he just dropped it off. He threw it through the window. Oh. Well, that's believable. All right, well, Jeffy, I'll let you know when the appointment's rescheduled. All right, Daddy. All right, so now it's Brooke. So they laugh now. Now, is Brooke and I going to call back and say, why, why didn't you guys come for that appointment or something? No, that call just seemed very weird. It just seemed weird. Why do you say that? I don't know. It was just weird. Jeffy, you're lucky you didn't break this thing. I'm sorry. I just didn't want my dad to see it. He already saw it before you threw it. Well, maybe he didn't. We should screw with more. Okay, so I'm now, uh, I'm now wondering how, like, this is going, which... Like, yeah, you're just saying, you know, they should mess around, and they're probably going to do pranks with, like, the voice changer. So, I'm now, I, I now see how weird this video is going to turn, but I'm going to question, is Brooke and I going to eventually call Marvin again and wonder why he didn't he call, and then, you know, they get confused, and then they figure out, oh, no, let's continue, let's continue, because I feel like that's where the, the plot's about to head to. More people with the voice changer. Like who? Like Chef PP. You could call him and pretend to be a hot girl. Or Margot Robbie. And then tell him that you're laying in the bunk bed. And he's gonna come up here thinking Margot Robbie's here, but she's not. Why what? Why, 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 why would the fuck would she be? He has to believe it because he hears her voice. Yeah. Oh, you know what would be really cool? If we turn off all the lights in here and then we call him as Margot Robbie. And then he comes in here naked. And then I'm in the bed dressed up like a girl. And I use the voice changer to sound like Margot Robbie. And tell him Nigga, to Cody. All the way. Wouldn't that be really funny, you guys? I think we should just do I mean, it'd be funny, but, like, I, I, I don't think none of us want to see that. Low-key. Like, because I'm supposed to be Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie has blonde hair. Well, it's not going to matter. The lights are going to be out. I just needed to give Chef PeePee something to pull. Cody, you're not going to be getting in bed with Chef PeePee. You're just supposed to be calling him. I said we'll see where it goes. Are they about to have a scene where Cody's in the bed with Chef PeePee? Yes, are they about to have a scene? I'll we'll call Chef PeePee. Oh, oh no! Try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. It's a sausage biscuit with grape jelly. Ew! Uh, Ash. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Wait, who's calling me? I'm blocked. Uh, hello? Hello, this is Margot Robbie. Is this Chef Peepee? Uh, yeah, this is Chef Peepee. Wait, wait, Margot Robbie? What you find out doing calling this time of night? Because I think you're so sexy, Chef Peepee, and you have the best. Oh, no. <laughs> you know I oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is about the. Right Oh, Italian sausage, you know I'm packing, I'll give it to you any time of the day. Just give me Why a the minute, fuck baby. you open the shit out of the stove? God damn it, Pee Pee. Wait, I'm stepping in the bunk bedroom. What you doing here? That's right, Crikey, come get in this room pouch. <laughs> oh, Michael, I'm coming. Oh. Everybody get out of here and turn off the lights. Why don't we just yell pranked when he opens the door? No, that's lame. I gotta commit to the role. I'm sorry, I didn't take you guys for complete pussies. Did you know corn is ribbed for pleasure? Well, that's good to know. If things don't work out with Chef PP, I could use that. All right, Jeffy, come on, let's go. Junior, the lights. Oh, yeah. Wait, Cody, put your clothes back on. No, it's for the prank. It's gonna be funny. He's gonna laugh. <sighs> no! It's no! Junior, Margot Robbie's in there? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Chef PP. How was it? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I like a surprise. Oh, Margo! Hello! <laughs> I got a pole. Oh, no! Uh, no! You know it's dark as hell. No! No, don't turn on the light. I'm in bed already. Oh, no, so I need to turn my light on because I'm black as hell. Oh, my God. You know, I like my women like I like my Frosted Flakes. Soggy as fuck. Get in here, big boy. Ooh, you nasty. You like to get down to business. All right, girl. <laughs> Come give it to me, peepers. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What the Cody? Cody, what the hell are you doing? You gross as hell. What's wrong with you? Cody. Oh, and he said he's done, y'all. Cody. Cody, I can't oh, with you, bro. I can't with you. I tried to offend you. Okay. And you do what shit like this. I can't no defend you, Cody. Me hanging, dog. What's that about? Oh, you oh no my God, time. Cody. Come over here. We make an appointment at my office. You just don't show up. What Why? the fuck is wrong with you? Who does that? I'm a doctor. I <laughs> and now he's pissed. Men come loud. That's what they called me. I had terrible grades, but I'm still a doctor. Wait, you called and you canceled the appointment. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You called and said you had to remove a giraffe's penis. What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about are you on drugs? What no, you you called me from a are you on drugs? So those a hospital <laughs> truck is near me. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand what the fuck you're talking about. I called you from your son's phone and that didn't raise any suspicions? Well, I mean you said that you
you Where would I get his phone? You said you took it and that you, you had to give it back. You threw it through the window back at him. I threw it through the wind. Oh, you are pissing me the fuck off. Right now. <laughs> You're pissed. I'm giving him the shot. Oh, he's really scared right now. I don't think you'll be able to give him that shot. That's okay. I'll just do what I do with my dog. Hold on. Okay, so my dog's really bad about taking medicine, so I usually just hide his pill in a piece of bologna, so that's what I'm gonna do with your son's shot. You're gonna make Jeffy bite a needle? No, I'm gonna pretend I'm handing him a piece of bologna, and when he goes to reach for it, I'm gonna stick him in the arm. But that's gonna traumatize Jeffy! Uh, uh, I'm not this- to show up for your appointment, so this is what you get, a bologna needle. Now, where the fuck is your son? Jeffy, get in here! Yeah, daddy? Is he- Doctor is he actually gonna fall for it? Piece of bologna? No. Oh. Well, can you throw this piece of bologna away for me? No. Oh. Well, I will pay you a hundred bucks to touch this piece of bologna. Show me the money. Uh, okay. <laughs> Show me the money. Hundred. Give me. Fuck. Every. Yeah. And I get to keep my hundred. At least that worked. At least, at least that worked. At least that worked. Low key. I changed the batteries on the voice changer, so it should work now. It died at the worst possible time for me. Well, I needed to sell it my day, because there's a guy that he owes money to named Mr. Goodman. And I'm oh, no. What is that about the pull? And tell him that I have the money that I owe him, and then when Mr. Goodman shows up, he's going to get mad at my daddy for lying. Oh, well, that'd be really awesome. All right, here's the voice changer. All right, thank you, Cody. Oh, no. Hey, well, oh, wait, never mind. I was about to say, what? What? what is Mr. Goodman doing? Alright, that's enough for you. Yo! Here, wax my ass crack. Get the duct tape. I have dingleberry. Dean, she was giving crazy back shots. Oh, Alright, now pull it on three. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. I'm not the star. I'm, I'm, I'm not the. Dad. Marvin, why are you calling yourself that? Because I am Jeffy's dad. Well, what do you want, Marvin? I'm in the middle of getting a massage from Rafiki. Don't I owe you money? Every fucking month, but you never pay it. Well, I have all the money I could ever owe you, ever, ever, never. Oh, you do? You have all the money you could ever want that I owe you. Hold on, like you have enough money to pay off your entire house? Yup. And all your credit cards? Yup. Rafiki, pull it. God damn! Nope, I have all the money. God damn, bro, God. With me, and I get there, and I don't have any fucking money. I'm gonna get a ninja katana and slice your balls in half like fruit ninja. I have all the money. Oh my God, he's about to slice. He's about to chop his dick like it's a watermelon. He's about to chop his dick like it's a watermelon. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Marvin's fucked. Sorry, juice all over your couch. You know, it's actually the second time I've said that to someone today. What? Listen, next time we have plans, how about you do them, okay? Well, you, you're the one- No, 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 no. I don't want to hear your excuses. We had an appointment, and you stood me up, okay? I thought we were friends. If I invite you over to my birthday party, you're going to show up, or you're going to stand me up again? If I invite you over to a cookout, you're going to show up? Well, you're the one who said that, that, that you were canceling the appointment. See, that's the worst kind of lie. You can't make the lie about me. I know what I did and didn't do. <sighs> I'm sorry. There, right there. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, bring it in. Give me a hug. Give him a hug, it's crazy. That's good. Okay. Thank you. I needed this. Okay. Now, any leftovers in your fridge? We have pizza from last night. I'm on it. <sighs> Who's at the door? Hello? Hey, Marvin. I'm ready. For what? For you to pay me all the money you owe me for your house payment and your credit cards. I'm happy and I'm ready. Nothing can ruin this day, so give me. Other than him saying no, he doesn't have the shit. Well, what makes you think I have all the money to pay you all that? <laughs> That's a funny joke, Marvin. Just one more joke before I never have to come to your house every single month and ask you for your house payment. That's a rich joke. I like that one, Marvin. But, uh, that's enough kidding around. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I don't have all that money, Goodman. What would make you think I have all that money? You personally called me and interrupted the massage with Rafiki to tell me you had all the money for your house payment and all the money for your credit card payments, and I said, okay, I'm on my way. Well, okay, good. What? That, 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 that did not happen. GG stare uh, Marvin's deck. You know I have a katana, right? What, yep, GG stare's deck. GG stare's deck. Loki, he's about to be Marvin no deck. Loki, he's about to be not Marvin no deck. I don't have the money. All right, Marvin. Now you pull out those shriveled up little raisin balls of yours because they're coming home with daddy. Come here. Get them. Yeah, ah, uh, that's the end. No, I wanted more. I want to thank you guys so much for.
Serious, that was the video. We guys did a video. Low key, low key, low. Key. I actually really enjoyed the video. Low key, like it was actually you know Jeffy's voice changer, and I was like, yeah, it was a little bit of filler, but I'm like, low key, I feel like this is like a little bit of like dub filler. Cause it was like you know, eventually it got to the point where you know he actually got the needle, and then we got a different plot where it's like, okay, let's see how Jeffy can fuck with um, his dad, and now it's like Mr. Goodman. All right, so I was like, okay, it's either gonna be Mr. Goodman or it's gonna be something like something else. Like he calls like another girl, and then it gets like I don't know, like Rose jealous or something like that i was like okay let's see where this hat is heading to i was like all right all right the way they did it like you know first first you know they canceled the appointment and then it, uh, you know it gets uh brooklyn guy mad and now you know then it fucks with um mr goodman and then it gets him mad so low-key dub video dub video low-key when i saw, i actually enjoyed this the way they did like the voice changer i actually really enjoyed it and just cody 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 just uh, Cody. Serious, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and get notified when I upload a new video. Comment what do you guys want to add to next. Serious, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oops.